Jeez, I'm sorry guys. I was live feeding and my phone just decided to freak out, it's all. No, you will not live feed. And uh, I guess maybe I fixed it. Um, okay, well, uh, I'll just start the whole thing over again. Um, I'm wearing this because there was a weather advisory um, because of the fires in New Mexico and Arizona. It's causing a lot of ash in the air, so if you have any kind of breathing problems or asthma or anything like that, COPD, uh, make sure to stay out. I'm sorry, stay inside. Turn off your swamp coolers if you can, and uh, just kind of uh, stay out of that because it, it's it's really is a mess. Um, okay, it is June the uh, 19th in the morning. This is my second attempt at the live video. I don't know what is going on with my phone. Uh, <laughs> but hey, if it happens to check, it can happen to me, right? Uh, a couple weeks ago, there was a truck that was coming down from Rideau Zone, and the trailer came off the hitch and uh, ran into the pole. I mean, it hit hard. I was in the church working, and it was just this huge noise. The electricity starts freaking out, like, right off the bat. And uh, I go out there, you know, and the, and the pole is just completely snapped in half. The wire is just tossing around on the ground, and... Well, Maybe a little overdramatic. It's not on the ground. It's it's in the air, but it's all going. Bzz, bzz, bzz. <laughs> so it's it's not on the ground. That's just I guess creative flair. Uh, and uh, so there, it's just kind of a rough situation. And there's some part in us that always responds to something like that happening in a very similar way. We say, since something bad happened, that means that God was in control, or he he didn't. Um, he, he wasn't uh, working. And it's something that we all believe. Now, now the, the, the pole is a, is a minor um, example. In our lives, it's usually something bigger. Um, someone dies or uh, just an absolutely terrible situation happens to us. Um, whatever it is, it's, it's, it's our trailer. <laughs> it's our trailer story. Um, but for the sake of the example, I'll just use that. He, he smacks into it and all this stuff, and, and we, we always ask something very similar. Why didn't God just stop it from happening? Where was God in this? Where was God in the middle of this, of this, of this tragedy? But the, the truth is that God did prevent it from being worse. There's kids that walk down here all the time that could have gotten hit by the trailer. And that's a miracle in and of itself that there was no kids um, there. Another thing is it didn't hit anybody's cars. Um, you know, that... There's a lot of people here that don't have insurance, and uh, that would have been just terrible for them. They wouldn't have been able to get around at all. Now, I, I, I'm I'm not trying to downplay how much hard work the guys had to. I mean, they were out there all day. The police had to be had to take have the highway off all day. I mean, it was just a big ordeal. If you live in Tularosa, you remember. Um, people couldn't even go to the apartments. You had to go around the block. Um, and the guy whose trailer it was. I mean, this was this was a terrible situation for him. Um, but as bad as it was, it could have been worse. Um, it, it's better that it hit the pole than a person. I mean, can you imagine having that on your conscience? Your trailer comes off your truck and kills somebody? Wow. Like, that's... that's That would be rough. So, whereas, yeah, absolutely, there's always this, there's always this choice in life that we have. We can either um, get, get mad at God about the situations, or we can be thankful in the midst of them. True thankfulness isn't, you know, hey, I don't have any problems... True thankfulness is e even it when I do have problems. Thank you, God, for, for for your blessings, for watching out for me, even even on the verge of death and, and, the, and the, at the gates of hell. You know, God, look at what you've blessed me with. Um, it, it, there's always this choice in life that we can choose to be thankful, or we can choose to just get get irritated and, and hard hearted about the situation, and, uh, and and everything. You know, there's that there's those two ways we can look at it. Um, Paul wrote in uh, Philippians and elsewhere also that we should rejoice at all times. And oftentimes we have this kind of a mentality. How can I possibly rejoice when there are bad things happening? H how, can I, how can I possibly say thank you, God, in the midst of sickness, in the midst of death, in the midst of all these bad things that happen? Like, <laughs> How can I deal with that? And the truth is that... that Thanking God when you don't feel like thanking God is true thankfulness. It's easy to say, oh, I, I, I'm so thankful for God, you know, when everything's going great. Like, oh, God's blessed me. Well, what happens when he doesn't bless you? What happens when everything is going wrong? What do you do then? Uh, when, you're, when you feel like you're all alone, when everything's gone wrong. I mean, that's, that's something else. 
we have to literally retrain ourselves to learn how to see God and to see God working in the situation, um, even when there are bad things happening. See, we think along somewhere the lines of this: God is only working if there are no issues. God is only working if there are no problems. I mean, this is our golden test for everything. I'm going to do this, and if it's the will of God, everything's going to work out. Um, you know, oh, something bad happened. God wasn't in control. Uh, God, uh, God doesn't care. God is, God is not working in this. Um, a lot of Christians have kind of felt like that during the past couple months during the coronavirus. Um, we've just kind of forgotten that, you know, hey, God's still in control. He's still working. Um, why did these things happen? I, I don't know. I, I'm not God. <laughs> um, but either way, um, the, the idea that God is only working if there are no issues, that's just not true. Um, once again, the example with the trailer, that's just a, a very minor issue. Nobody died or anything like that, but it, it's still a great example that, you know, yes, bad things still happen, but, but God was in the middle of it. Sometimes we, we want God to micromanage us. We want God to give us no choice in life. We want God to, to kind of make it where there are no problems, but a large majority of our problems are self-inflicted. And the ones that aren't self-inflicted um, are other people's poor decisions that affect us. Now, obviously, there are a lot of other things that happen in life. You know, just natural things. God caused things. Satan caused things. Like, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. But there's a large part of, of our problems that are our own fault <laughs> or someone else's poor decisions affecting us. And so we say, you know, hey, God is only working if there are no issues. God, you need to make sure that there are, that there are no issues. When that's, first off, really limiting what God can do. Uh, saying it off, that, that's really limiting life. Life is about danger. Life is about taking chances. Life is about not knowing. If we knew, then it really wouldn't mean the same thing. You know what I mean? If I knew that I was going to die today, well then if I treated my kids really, really good, it really wouldn't mean anything because it was, it was a false front. It was, I wanted them to think that I was a better dad than I was. But if I think that I'm going to live for the next 50 years and I go out on my way every single day to make someone feel special, well, that's different, isn't it? We, we, we say that we want, you know, oh man, God this, and we get mad at God for what he does and how he does and everything, but then at the same time, we don't want him to take away our free will. We don't want him to, him to take away our choices in life. And so we kind of want God to be two different paradoxical things anti anti things they we want him to be this and this the exact opposite of what we just said we want him to be in control but we also want to be in control we want him to do this while he's not doing this and it's like well first off god doesn't really just do whatever we want we're not god's god like he he does what he wants and we have to be okay with that he doesn't have to be okay with us and we have to be okay with him um so there, there's a few things here let's let's kind of let's kind of bring things into focus here we can rejoice when everything is going good. Um, for some of us, it seems like <laughs> that either never happens or very rarely happens. Uh, we can rejoice because bad things aren't happening, aren't always happening. We can rejoice because bad things aren't always happening. Even when there is a, a bad thing happen, usually not everything bad happens at the same time. Okay. Um, we can rejoice because even when everything is going bad, there are other bad things that aren't happening. I'll give you an example. Like, okay, that guy whose whose trailer came off his truck. I mean, that's he's gonna have to pay a bunch of money. He's going to have to, you know, have his trailer fixed. I mean, it's it's bad for him. No matter how you look at it, it's bad for him. But he's still alive. His truck was still working perfectly fine. Um, he only has to pay financial, you know, um, for the for the pole that was hit. He doesn't have to bear the weight of having killed somebody. You know, that that's. That's that's not nothing. Even if somebody had died, you know, there would have been other things to be thankful for. And once again, there's always that choice of, am I going to be thankful in the midst of this situation, or am I going to be um, complaining and miserable in the midst of the situation? Um, it, it's the same. It's the same situation. It's just how you look at it. So you can always find something to complain about, or you can find something to be happy about. And the choice really is up to you. And so instead of asking, you know. How do I rejoice when there are bad things happening? Say, how can I not rejoice? How can I not be thankful? And instead of saying, oh, God is only working if there are no issues, say, God, how are you going to work this? 
you know, how, what are you trying to teach me through this? And I think that perspective is a large bit of it. Um, so, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, well, we'll go ahead and call it quits there. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Remember to stay out, stay out of the uh, out of the the nonsense in the air. Or if you do go outside, wear some kind of a covering to kind of help with that, especially if you have COPD or asthma. Um, just kind of a rough time to be outside right now. Uh, you guys have a great day, and I will hopefully see you on Sunday.